What's up world? If you've ever grown tropical milkweed, then you know it has the potential to spread everywhere throughout your garden. While some people may not like that, I don't mind. And that's because I enjoy raising monarch butterflies. So since tropical milkweed happens to be the plant that we feed to our monarchs while we're raising the caterpillars, I wanna see if I can save as many of these seedlings as possible. Now, I'm gonna transplant the seedlings into these. The goal is, can we fill up every one of these slots? This 172 count cell tray. Now, I don't know if we'll get all 172, but we'll try. So from here, we'll go into the four inch pots. Now, since I'm really growing this milkweed to feed the butterflies, better yet, the caterpillars that we are gonna be growing here, I don't need the plants to get crazy big. I just need a lot of them so that I can rotate them in and out of the cage. For this project, you'll need your cell tray, good, high quality potting soil like this stuff from Heirloom Soil, shovel of your choice, and milkweed seedlings. Also, you're gonna need a tray to stick this on, something like this. So now, we're ready to get started. Now I know most people are thinking, I need to fill this up with soil first, but I like to do it in the reverse order. I'm gonna dig up all the seedlings and then plant them one by one. Enough talking, let's get to work, man. So now that I have a small pile, we're gonna get started. Now normally I would fill the seed cells with soil before I put the seedling in, but I do it a little differently with the milkweed. Small trial, soil, grab one of the seedlings, and drop the soil in. Make sure all the roots are covered and just keep going. So you'll notice that some of the soil drops in the cells next to it. Try to do this as quickly as possible because if you take too long, they'll wilt and die. 